Video notes over percent word problems. The objective will be to calculate the percent part or whole in real life situations. The steps include identifying the part, whole, and percent in the problem, estimating the answer, setting up a proportion, and finally solving. Example 1. 26% of the students attended the dance. If there are 450 students at the school, how many students attended the dance? Okay, so we know that our first step in this is identifying the part, whole, and percent in the problem. So, if we look at the first sentence, we can easily identify our percent because it's labeled right here. So, our percent is going to be our 26. And the next sentence, we have 450 students at the school. So, that's going to be our whole. And our part is going to be unknown because that is left out of the problem. So we're going to have to find that as x. So we're going to solve for the part. Our next step is to estimate the answer using a bar graph. So down here on our bar graph, we know that the whole thing would be 100%. So in our problem, we know that the whole is 450 students at the school. So that is going to be your total amount of students. So you have to ask yourself, what is half of 450? And that's going to be 225. And that's going to be our 50% mark, since it is half of the total. And then you want to do it one more time to find out 25%. So half of 225 would be around 112 not exactly but around there so in the problem it says 26 percent so that is a good indication that our answer is going to be around 112 students around 112 students okay so now we got the estimation out of the way Let's move on to our setting up the proportion. And we're going to do that by using this formula right here. So we know that part is over whole. And we can also if we remember this is is and of equals percent over 100. So we have our percent labeled. So we know that on the right side it's going to be 26 over 100 and on our left side we we don't have a part so that's going to be X and our whole is right here which is 450 alright we set up our proportion and our next step is to solve so we can do simple um, to solve this we cross multiply so we're going to multiply x times 100. And 450 times 26, which if you do the math, you come up with 11,700. Okay, so to finish the problem, we need to isolate the x, so we do the inverse operation. So this is multiplying, so we need to divide. So we're going to take, we're going to divide by 100. So we're going to divide 11,700 by 100. And if you do that, you end up with 117 students. So, in other words, we know that 26% of 450 would be 117. Well, example 2. In this Frizzles class, 8 students did not have their science homework to turn in. If there are 32 students in her class, what percent of her class was unprepared? 
Okay, so we have to label our first step is to identify the part, whole, and percent in the problem. So we know that our part is going to be 8. That's going to be our part. And our whole would be 32 because that's the total amount of students in our class. And as far as the percent goes, we don't know because it's not in here. We don't have a percent sign. And the question is asking what percent of our class was unprepared. So for there, that's probably going to be X. Okay, so now that we're done with labeling our part, whole, and percent, we're going to move on to the bar graph and estimate. So we know that our whole, our total amount is going to be 32. That would be our 100% mark. So just like the last question, we're going to estimate. And we want to find the 50% mark first. So we're going to go halfway of 32, which is... 16 and then half of 16 would be 8 so 16 is going to be your 50% mark and 8 is going to be your 25% mark okay good um, next so we know so if we had to estimate, we have 8 right here. So our answer is probably going to be 25%. So we're going to say around 25% to give a good estimation. All right, our next step is to set up a proportion. And we're going to do that by using our formula that we all have become aware of. Part over whole equals percent over 100. So if we look at our problem and our labels, we know that our part is going to be 8 and our whole is going to be 32. The percent is unknown, so we're going to label that as X and that is over 100. Alright, so now we got our proportion set up, we can solve and we do that by cross multiplying. So 32 times X and 8 times 100 we get 32x equals 800 and now we need to isolate the x so we're going to do that by dividing so 800 divided by 32 is going to be 25 percent would be our final answer because the question is asking what percent of her class was unprepared. So we know that 8 is exactly 32, or I'm sorry, 8 would be 25% of 32 students in her class. So that's going to be our final answer. All right, example 3. In a random survey, 100 students said their favorite pizza topping is pepperoni. If this represents 80% of the students surveyed, how many total students were surveyed? Alright, we're going to go to our steps, and our first step is to identify the part, whole, and percent in the problem. So we know our percent is 80, so we'll go ahead and label that percent. And our part is going to be 100 students. And as far as the whole goes, we don't know. That's to be determined, so that's going to be our X. All right, for the next step, we're going to estimate the answer using our bar graph. So we know that 80% right here is 100. So we can go ahead and make an estimation that our answer is going to be more than 100. Alright, our next step. We need to set up our proportion. So we're going to use our formula over here. And we know that our part is 100. And our whole is unknown. So that's going to be our X. On to the right side, we know 80% is going to be right here. 
and 100 is going to go on the bottom. Alright, now to solve this, we need to cross multiply. So we're going to do x times 80 and 100 times 100. So if you do that, you get 80x equals 10,000. Alright, now we need to isolate the x, so we're going to divide by 80. And if we do that, we get 125 students. So we know that if 100 is 80% of the total amount of students that were surveyed, that 125 is the total amount. So that would be our answer right there. And we completed that. All right, now it's your turn. Uh, here's the you try. Um, try your best at it. Set it up. Identify your part whole percent. Estimate the answer. Set up a proportion and solve, and we'll see you on Monday. Have a good day.